And the Gender Affairs Minister Frederick Stevenson says soon they'll be bringing to Parliament the Domestic Violence Bill. Stevenson says this important piece of legislation will help to further enhance the laws against domestic violence and the police and the civil society will have a greater role to play in bringing about an end to domestic violence. Gone would be the days when the parents, when an act of sexual violence is perpetuated against a child that somebody would take a $300 Dixon or a goat or a sheep or a pig or a cattle and sometimes when they go to the court and say they're not offering any evidence the man decides, you know what, I'm not giving you the cattle again I'm not giving you the money again and so what we have, we have a situation where the parents would have led their children down a path which will, the child could never forget. And the issues in relation to sexual violence, it, it continues because that child, young girl, or a boy too, for that matter, because we have sexual violence against our boys. We have some worthless men in St. Vincent and the Grenadines who prey upon our boys. And I have to say it like how I, I know it, because people come to me, I'm the minister, I have to speak these things truthfully and honestly to pray upon our, on, on our young boys. And Highlighting some of the work his ministry has been doing to end the violence against women and children, Stevenson said that ending sexual violence against children and breaking the silence is not the vehicle for people to speak on truths. I do not want people to go about and say they're breaking the silence and telling lies on others so that people can get into trouble and innocent people go to prison break the silence mean that you must speak the truth. If an act of sexual violence meted out to you, speak it to your teachers, speak it to somebody in the community, your parents, if you think that your parents leave you, tell somebody else. Come to the family services, tell the counselors in your schools, report it to the police.